Traditionally, this is where you say your thank yous to the pig, caress it. Thank you for your life that I could do business. We do it as how it is in uh, Cebu, Philippines. I've bled, I've got burned, I cried in the name of being a lechonero. When I started this, I couldn't carry a 30 kilo pig, but now my limit is around 50 kilo. <laughs> you need to have that inner strength. I think uh, having money as the only incentive to do things, it just got old. Um, I, I simply wanted to do more of my life, not just chasing sale after sale. I didn't want to die like just on my desk. Hey Robin, how are you? I'm fine. I wanted to, to go home to Cebu, right? But my wife said there are more opportunities here and it's safer here, a better future for the kids. That's why Esquina Cebu was born. We made a Cebu here. When I first cooked my first lechon, it wasn't as beautiful as this. <laughs> and then I slowly learned, taught myself, spent time with lechoneros in Philippines. This will be for two hours of roasting. The Filipino lechoneros, they could do like four of these and five in one day. I still have so much to learn from them. I was so used to being in the, an office, so I remember last time after a, a whole day of cooking and, and I would just lie down on the carpet and I, would, I was literally crying, man, because I was so tired. When we first opened, it's very hard for us because people here in Singapore, they don't know about us. It was through a gas station uh, manager. <laughs> he said, you got to go try this out. There, there was a hype. You know, you take pride in Hearing people coming from JB, people coming from Jurong, people coming from Passeries, you know. As far as I know, he's the only lechonero that I've met here in Singapore. I think he's the first few like, foreigner who set up their foreign food in Singapore and brought it back to the Philippines. I'm pretty ecstatic because I could see that people accepted the taste well. The second day that Manila was operational, I cried on the side. The events that I come back to would be like manual lechon events. Hello, your lechon? Fresh off the grill. No, no crispy skin. Eh? You uh, don't like? Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, I would always feel Cebuano, but I identify myself as Singaporean in a way that I've survived. I want to inspire people to see that you can still survive beyond a desk job, that there's other options out there. If a Filipino guy can do it in Singapore, why can't you?